Hey guys, welcome to Costa Rica. Uh, my name is Scott Brown. I'm with the programming team here for the Albert Bound School. And something I'm going to talk about today is clothing and the difference between synthetic materials and cotton blend. When you're packing for your trip, think about it top layers your shirt, your pants, socks are a big one, and your underwear. We encourage you guys strongly not to bring cotton. Cotton takes a really, really long time to dry. And in the rainforest environment, we see a lot of water. In colder environments, they say cotton is like a death trap because once it's wet, it stays wet for a really long time and that can, can put you in a hypothermic situation. You could get too cold. So we encourage you to wear quick dry or synthetic materials. Typically, these are either polyester or nylon, or better yet, blend of the two. Uh, the shirt I'm wearing right now is it's made by Mountain Hardware, uh, and it's a nylon polyester blend. In the back, there are areas to allow it to breathe. The sleeves roll up and are held up, but this isn't the type of shirt that you'll find very easily. Something that's gonna be a lot easier for you guys to find would be a shirt that's something like this. It's just a regular t-shirt design, but make sure that you're always looking on the inside. And it's a type of shirt that's meant to dry really quickly. A lot of these types of clothing you'll find in the athletic department. So a lot of athletic clothing will suit the purposes. These clothes are meant to dry really quickly to wick moisture away from your skin. They're usually really lightweight and very compactable. You can take a shirt like this and put it into a really small space. Next you've got pants, the zip-off pant. This is a pair of pants made by the North Face. I think they are really good. They're made of a, a very durable type of nylon. It won't catch and rip. When you're on the trail and you need to change layers, you don't always want to take your hiking boots off. So a lot of pants that are meant to be outdoors utilize a zipper close to the boot, which allow your shoes to fit through the opening. Remember, talking about is the material, how quickly it dries. So if all you can find is a regular pair of nylon zip-off pants, they're gonna suit you a whole lot better than any pair of blue jeans would. So I'm not saying run out and buy name brand gear. A lot of this you can find, like I said, in the sporting apparel sections of like a Target or a Walmart. Next thing I wanna talk about is socks. Socks are one of the most important parts of your apparel that you bring down. These are a pair of smart wool hiking socks and they have specific areas of padding in the heel and in the toe. And these areas through the arch of the foot and around the ankle have a nice bit of stretch. And the top of the foot is meant to ventilate really well. The reason why I like smart wool is it is made of merino wool and it doesn't hold smell nearly as bad as a lot of synthetic materials. And it also dries really quickly. And it utilizes what we call wicking. That means that it's gonna suck the moisture away from contact with your skin to the outside of the sock where it's able to dry when your shoes are off. Do you need sock liners? You're going to be the person that knows your feet the best. If you're someone who has a lot of problems with getting blisters, then you probably want to go out and find sock liners. A uh, sock liner is basically a really thin layer of stretchy sock that you put underneath your normal sock and it basically provides a, a smooth surface so that when your foot moves inside of your shoe, you're not getting that abrasive action on your foot. But pay attention to your socks. You might even argue that it's more important than what shirt you bring. Just make sure that whichever socks you buy will come up past the highest point of your boot. And the other thing is underwear situation. What you don't want is wet cotton that's tying itself in knots. What I recommend is some form of synthetic material of polyester blend usually. Under Armour makes some really excellent equipment. The reason why this works so well, especially for guys, is this type of material will stay tightly compressed to the leg. And the reason why that's good is while you're hiking and sweating, you don't want to end up with any chafing. That's really, really uncomfortable and it's one of those things that doesn't get better over time the more you hike. Because you're hiking every day during the hiking portions, it takes that a while to feel better. Girls, stay away from the, the cotton underwear. Sports bras work really well, but make sure of the material that they're made of. If you have an old piece of clothing and you're not sure of what type of material it's made of, do your own test. Dunk it in some water and then hang it outside in the shade and see how long it takes to dry. The very last thing I want to bring up relative to clothing is layering. You can find some form of polyester long underwear 
both tops and bottoms. That about wraps up my discussion on, on technical clothing. While you're down here, remember, try and stay away from cotton. I hope you guys uh, get down here soon.